Hey what's up everybody, my name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. Today we're gonna take a final big step towards the end of the game. We're gonna take down our final alien hunter, alien hunter? No, alien ruler, we're the hunters. Um, and it's gonna be the Archon King, I think they call him, uh, on Operation Falling Tongue. So we're gonna sabotage that alien facility he's protecting and hopefully take him out in one go. If we don't, this might end very badly. For a lot of our well best soldiers but let's not think that negatively and just uh, head into the mission okay dropping into the forest again we'll uh, let Elena take points since she's the uh, the Reaper here the covert operative target coordinates are locked in move to designated position and place the X4 charges there we go judging from previous missions I'm gonna suppose that the ruler is going to be very close to the facility itself. So we should have a little bit of time before we actually need to deal with them. And we saw an officer and a trooper, but that's not going to be that much of a problem. So uh, still, see you guys in a second. We're moving up. Oh, and we got two Archons and a Spectre from the right now. A turn. We're a turn further than uh, the last time I spoke to you guys, but... Um, I think it's high time that we start to at least shoot at something because it's getting a little bit crowded to my taste. I wanted to get closer to those two before we actually engaged, but I think it's probably better to leave them behind and focus on the three Archons that just arrived on the right side of the map here. Because right now the officer is already out of view, we can still see him because of uh, Elena's ability. But other than that there's nothing actually getting in the way for us to shoot at those guys. Although those guys are actually pretty far away as well. I could also just move the three ladies up top here to a different position so these guys don't see us. You know what? I think I'm going to use Elena. Let's put it over here. And spot those three guys on the right. And then we can use a Claymore right in the middle of those guys I use that as the first action there we go who has a not so good shot over here Ooh. I should have probably thought about that before I started to move but because uh, this is gonna bite me in the ass um, but we can see the two troopers on the left now with Kelly but we're not gonna be able to shoot her gun. Um, so let's just move Hilda down. Oh, Hilda can actually see it from over here. See the claymore from over here. So might as well. Here we go. Boom! That's three times eight damage on those guys. And we're revealed. I don't know if we're gonna get Elena spotted as well. That would be problematic because she's out in the open. There we go. That's not too bad. And then those two guys are gonna spot us as well. But that can take... Oh, crap. I don't know if you guys saw, but the... Um... Yeah, he's right over here. Okay, so don't move forward. Got it. Um, oh, damn. That's going to be problematic. Um, let's be very, very careful here. Because I don't want to risk dying now. Um, let's move Heidi up. So let's put it on running gun. And put her right over here. Please don't spot anything, please don't spot anything, please don't spot anything. Okay, there we go. Uh, that should give us, yeah, 94% chance on that Archon down there. Should I double tap? Can I actually dual strike on something? Ooh. I can actually dual strike on the Trooper. But I should probably initiate that from Kelly. So let's dual strike on the Trooper. From here. Blam! Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Never mind. That's right. 
Um, then... Whew, okay. Um, we can get... A shot from up here to... The Archon down there, but... First things first. Sniper rifle shots. We have a 100% shot on the officer in the back, but only 20% critical. With that eye that goes up to 15, but that's still not enough to do a kill. To have a kill here. Uh, I could also do dual strike. Wait, who's her buddy? Who's her buddy? Ooh, Hilde. What is Hilde's shot on? Yeah, I don't see Hilde's shot anymore. Okay, then I'm gonna save that. So let's just 100% shot. Yeah, I'm gonna have to dead eye this. Dead eye on the Archon up top or the Archon down there. Let's see what Heidi's shots are. 94 and 71. Okay, so 94 down there. 50% chance I'm gonna have to risk it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to risk it. Damn it. Okay, that was a graze. Even with. Oof. This is problematic. Um. Now, I could put Jacqueline over here. That's definitely not a good position. But that should give us... Yeah, I could go for Saturation Fire. Does that actually hit the... No. It's never gonna hit that guy, yeah. Okay. I could go for Saturation Fire to have a guaranteed hit. And 8 damage, how much does he still have left? 8 damage should be enough, okay. So, 8 damage. Or do I just try and do the 81? The Saturation Fire is an ability that I'm... No, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go for it. Saturation Fire on the Archon over here. There we go. And that's 9 damage. That kills the Archon. And then I can use um, Erica's shot on the Archon over there, but with that eye. That eye on the Archon over there. Please hit. Because he can still dodge this. No. Okay. There we go. That is how it's done indeed. And we get an Overwatch from the Spectre. That's really good. And then the Officer only has one action as well. Because remember, we spotted them. And then he marks Heidi. But I don't think that's an action. Or is it? Seems like it is, because he doesn't get another one. Okay. Um, I know I can put Heidi down. To have a flank shot on the Spectre over here. Let's start with Good that. Time. That will not spot the... Yeah, I'm just going to fire the deck. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, yeah, and I, didn't, I don't trigger Overwatch with uh, Heidi as well. So that's good. Now, we should try and kill the officer from over here. Uh, let's reload the plasma caster. Uh, we could try and fire it, but he's really, really far away. Um, Jacqueline is also out of ammo, but if I reload her... Does she have danger zone? I think she does, right? There we go, that was a free reload. And then we can do demolition on the officer to get rid of all of his cover. I want to kill this guy completely before I try and do anything else. Did that not work? Oh, 85% miss. Okay. Um, but we have the high ground, so we might as well be able to kill him here. That's a hit, and I think the sniper rifle shot was a guaranteed kill. There we go. Okay. We got out of that, unscathed. That was even a critical. Damn, Erica. Calm down, keep your best shots for in a second. Um, now, I'm just going to put it on Overwatch. Um, and, yeah, Heidi's movements. I'm just going just gonna to keep that over here as well. I'll probably use her to trigger the Archon's first move. But for now, I should probably reload every... Although, wait a second. Elena is still in shadow. I'm not going to risk that. I definitely don't want to risk that. So I'm just going to put everybody on Overwatch. Anybody who still remains. Uh, and then end the turn. So that was... Uh, five enemies. Five enemies are down, so there's four left. So probably one more batch and the Indian Ruler. This should be fine. 
Elena, can you go check? Because I have no idea if Shadow actually works on Alien Rulux or not. She marked something. This variation of the Archon must surely be the modified subject Dr. Valen had been experimenting on. She didn't have to upgrade their equipment in the process. No wonder these things escaped from the lab. Okay. I think with the first Schultz, if I just banish now, what happens? I have no idea. Because banish probably has a pretty good percentage here. Ooh, 67. That's actually no old. old. He has four health bars. He has, he has four health bars. Um. Um. You know, I could just try and kill the, the third first. If I just sting the third now. There we go, that shreds the armor. I didn't get through to the meat. And that triggers the turret, but probably shouldn't trigger the ruler. I suppose, because otherwise I'm going to be boned. Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay. So that means that I can now use Erika to finish off that turret. Blamo. Oh, he's not dead. Okay. Um... Then I'm just gonna reload, <laughs> reload and stay behind. Yeah, very calmly stay behind. Um, yeah, we just, we'll just, we'll just do that. A another, another turn just cowering in the background because I don't want to engage this Archon if it's not entirely on my turf. Okay, let's see. Let's reload Elena. Let's reload Elena, and now let's. Banish the Archon King. Oh god, this is such a bad idea. This is such a bad idea. Here goes nothing. Leave this place. Hey, Bobby G Bob. That's a mess. Archon on the wait what what? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. We might as well take advantage of Dr. Valen's existing experiments, as I have no intention of trying to replicate them myself. Commander, that's the last one. Oh my god. Science experiments. Are you serious? Well, that was anticlimactic. There somewhere, and we picked up some new gear in the process. Not a bad haul, considering. That is that was very anticlimactic. Holy crap! So um, if you didn't catch what just happened there, the second shot that was in banish actually triggered the repeater on um, <laughs> on Elena's gun, instantly killing the uh, Archon. It was kind of oh man, it was kind of spoiled by the trophies there. But um, yeah, we killed the Archon ruler, and I have. None of my trophies that I still wanted to get in this mission because I wanted to use an, uh, an armor ability in this mission. I wanted to do. Hey, why, why don't you. Why don't you see that turret anymore? All of a sudden. Uh, that was probably also a bad idea because she's going to get shot because I think that turret is on Overwatch. Um, I need to get closer to take care of that turret. That's affirmative. See, I wanted to use an, an, an armor ability, I wanted to use, um, I wanted to kill it while it was escaping. I mean, road. I got two trophies, but it's not, yeah, it wasn't really what I was expecting. Is that turret down? What the hell happened? That turret seems to be, ah, is it down? Okay then, fine, let's just move up then, I suppose. I don't know how she saw them, but she saw the sector bolt and the, uh, what's that, a trooper and a lancer in the building. Is that building? It's not open. That's weird, I don't know how she even spotted that. Maybe through this window where she was passing, but okay, fair enough. Let's open up the door. Menace 1-5, you're near the target position. Okay, there we go, so we have a better position to... Take care of the sector pool. The sector pool is supposed to be over here somewhere, but I have to see about that. Um, I have I have a few things left. 
Um, if I use the blaster bomb, because the blaster bomb I think has basically infinite aim, I could probably open up this side of the building. I just take out every little bit of cover and walls that are in the way to get to the sector pod. There, there we, we go. Heavy bomb. And it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It needs to go quite a ways. Boom! I think. He sounds like he hurts. Okay. Um, then... I can see somebody over here. Um, do I still have running gun? I still have running gun. Let's use running gun. Um, because I want to actually spot that sector pulled. But I want to spot the sector pulled and have a flank shot on one of these guys. So let's just put her over here. Moving to designated coordinates. And now we spot the sector pulled. There we go. That's good. Let's kill. Ooh, that's a very nice shot in that sector pulled as well. But uh, this guy's gonna die. Hi. Bye. Oh wow, we missed. That's not yeah, good. Yeah, you you indeed didn't get it. Um, now we could probably finish this off with a few other people, but I'm very very far away. Uh, let's see. I need to kill that sector pod first, unless we want to try and you know hack it or something. You know what? Let's activate serial on Erica. So there we go, and now we can fire at the trooper, that's 100%, so guaranteed to hit. Ooh, a shiny reflection in her, oh, are you serious? How the hell did he survive that? Yeah, and that means we did... God damn it. Okay. I will reposition. You will Moving up. Now we have three shots, one on the sector pod, one on the lancer, and one on the trooper. Let's just fire at the sector pod, because that uh, shredding is going to come in handy. So I don't need to do that by any other means. And what the hell? That repeater just triggered again on the sector pod. <laughs> okay then. Okay then. I'm, I'm not even complaining. I am definitely not complaining. Let's give that advanced teamwork action to Heidi. There we go, pointy, pointy, sticky fingery. And then we can... Um, do I still have running gun? Oh, you know what? Let's just, let's just, let's just... Can I slash this guy? I can slash this guy, right? Uh, like this. And slash. And we got loot. Ooh, loot. Loot is always nice. Superior stock, advanced expanded magazine, and a data pad. Good, good, good. All goodies. All nice goodies. And then implacable. Uh, I could use implacable to actually set her up right next to the lancer here. So if he tries to move, he's gonna die. There we go. There we go. Right next, nestled really close to the uh, the lancer there. I can still see him with Hilda. If I go a little bit closer, but behind full cover over here. Can probably get an even better shot. That's 74. And that's all that we still have left. Okay, so let's just put Jacqueline on Overwatch in case he wants to go out. And then we can. Whew. I don't know. Six damage with combat protocol? Ah, let's just fire at him. He's probably gonna. Yeah, that was a miss. But that should have knocked him down enough to die by a. Uh... There we go. <laughs> A bait storm. Bye bye, floppy man. Yeah, lances. Lances are really floppy. Little known fact: fla fl flancers, flancers are floppy. Yes, they use their floppy swords to flop all over the place. But let's just go over here, plant the X4 charges, and get the hell out of here. Some sort of incubation chambers. No doubt part of this system to keep Advent well supplied with when reinforcing the aliens. Dagen, it's always uh, one big experiment. We've seen this multiple times and I'm, I'm just gonna blow it up. So let's just plant the X4 charts and get the hell out of here. Menace 1-5, status confirmed. X4 charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. There we go, evac zone over there. And then let's uh, get everybody, uh, everybody in here. There we go. 
One at a time. And there we go, Heidi's the last one. And we mission complete. Um wow. That uh, repeater was uh, MVP. Um, I don't even know what to say about that. That was really anticlimactic. I thought this was going to be one hell of a fight. But yeah, one shot and he fell down. That was, yeah, flawless. Eight turns for ten enemies. Not that good, but considering there was an alien ruler in there and I was really, really scared for nothing, um, this ended really well. And there we go. Home sweet home. I think there's... Not many aliens left on this planet anymore. Nothing boosts morale like a few dead aliens. We got more than our share today. And there we go. Hilda also gets her promotion to Colonel. So uh, our umpteenth Colonel already. Uh, restoration or capacitor discharge? Again, I've never used capacitor discharge. So definitely going to go for restoration. Now that we have recovered one of Dr. Valen's test subjects, I can begin an autopsy on the specimen as soon as you give the order, Commander. And there we go, the Archon King Corpse. Of all of Valen's test subjects, the modified Archon variant bears the most striking resemblance to its precursor species. As we all know, its looks can be deceiving and this creature is not to be underestimated even in death. Um, yeah, I don't think he did a single thing in this mission. He just stood there and died. Dr. Valen managed to improve on this creature's key systems while somehow maintaining the no doubt carefully crafted appearance conceived by the aliens. Although apparently similar to the standard Archon va variant, as seen in the field this specimen has advanced flight capabilities beyond anything we've previously encountered. Yeah, we've definitely see that, seen that in the field. It may be possible to adapt this technology into a flight capable suit of our own. Yes. The destruction of this facility marks an important step towards the total elimination of the Avatar Project, Commander. Your team is to be commended. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was really nice. That was really nice. Um, I suggest that we... Can we pause the shadow chamber thing? Because... Can we put that on hold? Can we, can we put this on hold? Because I want to have that flight suit. Dudes! No, okay, I can't put that on hold, which is sad, but... Um, let's go to the bridge, I suppose. And there we go, Avatar Project goes down three notches because of the uh, destroyed facility. And that should almost be the end of the month. Yeah, in three more days, we are at the end of the month. I'm just going to go to the Tempai HQ to uh, heal faster. But not before I go to the black market and buy everything they still have, so... Yeah, Aladium Crystals, thank you very much. And I'll get, grab that expanded magazine as well. There we go. Do we go for superior conditioning as well? I ah, will see what, bring, what the next week brings. And a covert action completes again. And we get 17 ability points. And since I don't know what to do here anymore, I'll just fabricate a superior PCS. There we go, with Elisabetta and Elizabeth. Seems like a perfectly named team. And there we have our supply drop. ...against the aliens over the past month has been significant, Commander. But there is still room to improve if we are going to eliminate the alien threat. Room to improve? There's nobody left? All the aliens are dead. We just need to head through that gate and kill the Avatar. That's gonna be it. That's gonna be it, Councilman. Stop freaking out over nothing. We've got this. Because even these guys are all dead. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's definitely dead. That was a she, by the way. And yeah, that he's also dead. They're all dead. There's nobody left defending Advent anymore. I'm just gonna... Yeah, this is gonna... Yeah, this is gonna end really, really soon. And there we go. Miyu learns the Fortress ability. And then we can get another one of those. Void Rift. Generate an explosive field of psionic energy that immediately damages everything within. Organic enemies have a chance to suffer insanity. There we go. Let's grab that as well. There we go, supply drop is done, but in less than a day we'll also complete the avatar autopsy and this is going to initiate the final part of the game. So let's just go to Reaper HQ, see what happens over there, but probably not much because we're going to get right into... I don't know if there's a cut, I think there's a cutscene, pretty sure there's a cutscene, we'll, we'll see about that right now. There we go, cutscene. But I think it's the only option we have at this point. Agreed. We must inform the commander immediately. Go right ahead. Commander, Central, the Shadow Chamber has completed its analysis of the Avatar's DNA. 
it has identified the genetic sequence necessary to travel through the psionic gate. Perfect. We can finally shut this Avatar project down for good. However, the gate requires more than a mere transmission of genetic data. The sequence has to be part of a live subject. The key only works in lockstep with the signal. We don't have time to find another one of those things, let alone capture it. No. That part we can handle. We make our own. You're serious? Quite. Though the specimen before us is damaged beyond repair, it has provided us with its complete genetic blueprint. We already possess an unaltered avatar template from the Forge facility. That combined with the genetic material we recovered at the Black site should allow us to replicate the procedure here. So, what's the catch? Yes, that. Without an elder consciousness driving it, the new avatar would remain as lifeless as the one before us. While I can develop its body, I cannot create the mind to drive it. But I can, in a way. By manipulating the new avatar, via the psionic network. You want to operate one of these things by remote control? Not exactly. And definitely not me. Interfacing directly with their network would cause severe, if not fatal, trauma to an unprepared central nervous system. As it stands, we only know of one individual who has survived that kind of ordeal. Us. There we go, everybody's looking at that us. Hi! The stasis suit created the perfect interface to the network, one tailored to your specific biology, Commander. Of any human candidate, you are the most likely to survive the connection. Most likely is not good enough, Doctor. It is the only answer I can give you, and our only option to traverse the alien portal. We need to come up with a game plan before we charge through the enemy's front door. Which will give you some time to think about this, Commander. There we go. We're in the final stages now, people. This specimen, this being, is something else entirely. Something beyond anything we have ever seen. And yet somehow, our troops once again prevailed. There we go. So, uh, no shadow projects available. We have a little bit of time. But uh, let's research that final, uh, where is it? Inspired. I don't need inspired things. I want the Archon King Corpse. I have always been particularly fascinated with this species ever since the first time I spotted one during my travels. Although I had seen the biomechanical horrors deployed by the aliens during the initial invasion, these creatures appear to be something else entirely. Possessing a certain flair, not typically found amongst the aliens, I found this creature to be of great intelligence, masked by the incredible hold of the elders. There we go. Archons are apparently smart. Long Despite story short. the unexpected outcome of our tests on the air. And then I move to the bridge. Oh god. Channel, sir. On screen. Sir. It's coming from the Advent Network Tower. You heard me. He's taking a big risk contacting us like this. Hello, Commander. You and your crew are to be commended. Your efforts in rebuilding the Resistance Network and uncovering the truth about the Avatar Project have been admirable. I only wish I had better news to report. When does he ever? Advent is not taking the death of an elder lightly, and in turn have greatly accelerated the final stages of their Avatar project. A plan is now in place for the rapid processing of all non-essential human life to begin immediately. Very soon, Advent's speaker will announce a breakthrough in gene therapy. A final treatment for the human condition. Billions will flock to gene therapy clinics across the globe. They will never return. I have managed to secure tactical data and access codes to the Advent Network Tower. The speaker's address will be broadcast live to a global audience via this facility. The whole of Advent's network will be listening. It is this hubris that we must use against them. 
The information I am sending you should allow Dr. Tigan and Chief Engineer Shen to take control of the transmission and disrupt their entire network from within. Though my hope is that this disruption will confuse the enemy's forces long enough to allow your final assault a chance of success, I ask one more thing of you. Take what you have learned. Let the world know what is happening here. Wake them up. Broadcast the truth. Before there is no one left to listen. It seems we are both out of time. Farewell, Commander. I love that scene so much. New objective added. It is badass. So assault the advent network tower. So we need to complete that mission. I don't know if there's actually a time limit on this. Our latest operational objectives, Commander. Um, I have no idea if there's a time limit on this, but I probably shouldn't leave this uh, hanging. We have the target site locked in, Commander. This is our chance to strike at Advent's heart. Once we control the network tower, we can finally show the world what the aliens are doing. There's no turning back after this. So there we go. This is a uh, special mission that kicks off the end of the game. Um, the Advent Network Tower. I'll probably end the episode here because I want to just quickly review whether this actually ends the game or not. Because I want to have that flight suit, if at all possible, in the last mission. Um, we can actually spend our intel on bonuses here, which is also really cool. Um, and otherwise, I'm just going to have to spend every bit of resources I have, I think, because uh, this is going to be very, very interesting. But as I said, before that, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. And I think we're uh, almost done proving that you can complete XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, completely with only female soldiers. Um, thanks enormously for watching. I hope to see you next time in the next episode of XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. Goodbye.